Affluent white female Democrats push away Hispanic and working class voters. I've been saying this for a while. It's the overeducated uh, uh, white liberal female that's, that's that's really destroying this country. And they're the ones that's pushing all this crazy woke ideology and all this other stuff that's 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 that's, that's destroying uh, the United States as we know it. But before we get started, go ahead and hit that like button. Share this out so we can get this information out there. Subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. Hit that alarm bell so you know when I'm putting out new stuff. Also, check out my link tree in the description. It has a link to my Patreon where I talk about things that I can't talk about here. And there's also a link to my um, to my merch store. So check that out. All right, let's talk about this news. This ain't your grandfather's Democratic Party anymore. In fact, your grandfather is probably a Republican now. A political realignment is on the horizon while affluent white Democrats ignore kitchen table issues. The New York Times continues to release data from the most recent Siena College poll. Data published on Wednesday showcased the shift in demographics of the two-party dichotomy. Quote, for the first time in a Time Siena National Survey, Democrats had a larger share of support among white college graduates than among non-white voters, writes Nate Cohen. As recently as 2016 congressional elections, Democrats won more than 70% of non-white voters while losing among white college graduates. 57% of college-educated white people support the Democratic Party in the midterm elections, while 36 support Republicans. Not much swaying can occur because only 7% refuse to answer or have yet to decide. When gender is thrown into the equation, another split emerges. Quote, women propel democratic strength among the group, with white college-educated women backing Democrats 64 to 30, Cohen says. Democrats barely lead among white college-educated men 40, 46 to 45. White voters without college degrees paint a much different picture. 54% of white voters without a college education support the Republican Party, and 23% support the Democratic Party. Undecideds are just, uh, um, just as large as those firmly in the Democratic camp, with 23% not knowing who they will vote for. The New York Times analysis in Siena College crosstabs failed to mention the gender split among these voters. Regional differences play important roles in the poll. Half of the voters from the Northeast and 52% of respondents out West support Democrats. Meanwhile, Republicans have, have plurality support of voters from the Midwest and the South. College-educated white people are far more concerned about pushing the envelope on social issues rather than tackling the economic issues at hand, and it's costing them. Quote, the economy may be helping Republicans most among Hispanic voters who prefer uh, Democrats to control Congress 41 to 38, Cohen writes. Hispanics voted for Democrats by almost a 50-point margin in the 2018 midterms, according to the data from Pew Research. 20% say the economy is the most important issue facing the nation right now, and inflation comes in second place with uh, 15%. At 28%, Hispanic voters are more concerned over the economy than any other racial or ethnic group and are on par with both white and black voters on inflation. In total, 42% of Hispanics are most concerned over the economy and inflation. On the other hand, 36% of white voters and 23% of black voters believe these issues are the most important. Concerns over the economy are translated into support for Republican for the Republican Party. 62% of voters say the economy and inflation is the most important issue facing the United States support Republican control of Congress. Cohen labels this group as, quote, often less affluent, non-white, and moderate. Put two and two together and you get a Democratic Party reliant on affluent women living in coastal cities. They're unable to maintain support among Hispanic voters because they have the luxury of being able to protest during the weekly 
um, during the weekday while low income voters work for a living. I mean, that's that's pretty much common sense. Affluent Democratic voters are quick to accuse Republicans of privilege, but fail to see the privilege in their political priorities. Millions of working class people across various racial backgrounds are, are having to alter their lifestyles in order to provide for their families. Quote, it's the economy, stupid, was was true in 1992 and it's true once again as uh, uh, we we head into the midterm elections. And, you sh- and these 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 white female liberals are so condescending. They think they're smarter than you, and 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 they tend to be the most racist that I found out of any groups. And they they feign that they care about the working class, but they really don't. With their no- they, they turn their nose up at people, and these I mean these people are despicable and sick, and they're trying to push their crazy ideological agendas. But let me know what you think about um all this. Leave your comments down below. Like, share, and subscribe, and check out democrepublics.com for the latest in news. Until next time, peace.